Satoshi Nakamoto could be revealed in a Florida court case, according to this article by the New York Post. So the identity of Satoshi Nakamoto, a pseudonym for the legendary, still unidentified creator of Bitcoin, could soon be revealed in a court case in Florida, according to a report. The family of deceased computer scientist David Kleiman contends he created the cryptocurrency along with Craig Wright under the Satoshi Nakamoto name, and Kleiman's heirs are soon to get their half of a Bitcoin stash worth nearly $70 billion that's under the famous pseudonym according to a Wall Street Journal report. So Wright, a 51-year-old Australian-born tech entrepreneur living in London, claims he created Bitcoin on his own, a contention that has drawn widespread skepticism in the crypto community, but heirs to Clayman, who died in 2013, argue that he created Bitcoin alongside Wright, and they say they have evidence that proves the two men were partners. We believe the evidence will show there was a partnership to create in mine over 1 million Bitcoin, Vell Freeman, a lawyer for the Clayman family, told the paper. We believe the court will find there's nothing to indicate or record that they were in a partnership, said Andres Rivero, a lawyer for rights. Which, by the way, none of them could potentially really prove who's the actual creator, if even any of them actually did it. By the way, the whole point of the pseudonym, right, is so that no one knows who the creator actually is. So whether they are partners or not, for many Bitcoin enthusiasts, the only proof that either of them has a genuine claim would come in the form of Clayman's family producing a password or private key for the digital wallet in Satoshi Nakamoto's name, which holds more than 1 million Bitcoins. The trove has never been touched, and the fact that neither Wright nor Clayman's family has produced a perfect key has kept many skeptical about both of their claims. And the identity of Bitcoin's founder has been a question since the digital currency's inception in October 2008 when a person or group of people released a nine-page white paper introducing the new cryptocurrency under the Satoshi Nakamoto pseudonym. According to Clayman's family, he helped write author the white paper and launched Bitcoin with him, thereby entitling him to more than half a million Bitcoins, according to their suit. So I think this is kind of like all kind of like BS, but here's the thing, right? You got to think about it like this. The person or people who created Bitcoin, right, also have access to that Bitcoin, but it's never been moved. They've never gotten into it. If they were truly heirs of the creator, why would they not immediately already have access to it? Because all they need is the key to really get into it and or the phrase and just be like, hey, yep, yeah, we're all good. We're just going to take everything. But no one has done that. It has never moved at all. By the way, if you want to learn how to get out of debt, go to 40inbox.com.